Buddha said, it seems. I do not know whether Buddha said or not. But let's see, Buddha Zen, the last chapter of the Zen Fresh Zen Bones. Remember Paul's 101st story. That completes my dialogue on Zen as of today. So please listen. <laughs> Did Buddha really say? If he said, let us look into that. I consider the positions of kings and rulers as that of dust moves. Position, try to understand. Can not the kings and the queens or the rulers. You have to become the king in the house or the queen or the ruler of your own house, the body house. Then you do not have to put a name on it. But if you are without understanding your own body, your own house, and then you without a drop missing from your body, the last drop of talent has been utilized, then you automatically as a king, as a ruler of your own land, that is the body. But I consider position, when you take a position without practicing, then as that of dust most, Buddha said, yes. It, just, it has got no value because that position can fall down any time. The Prime Minister's post, the Chief Minister's post, Director General of Police post, the Military General's post, Head of the Family post. Hence, most of the family, joint family in the family tree crashed because of the positions. You can have the position if somebody is good, but do not have to give value to the position. The value is if you have known your position, your body very well, physically, mentally, spiritually. Then the position as God is valuable. <laughs> I consider positions of kings and rulers as their dust moors. I observe the treasure of gold and gems as so many bricks and pebbles. Yes, observe, not seeing. Buddha said, I observe the treasures of gold and gems. The gold and gems are the diabetes, the gastric, the heart diseases, the cancer, the AIDS. Call it by different different names. Those days people had gold and gems. And now they have the gold and gems as diseases in different different names. As if it is a fixed deposit. They go around and talk to everybody. I have BP. I have sugar. Why you have BP and sugar picker? You have not become the ruler of your own land, your own body. You have not removed the last talent from your body, use the last talent of the body. If you are not used it, that inside the body, the dirt will be there. I observe treasure of gold and gems as so many bricks and pebbles. It is just like any other stone. It is natural. You do not have to worry about it. The moment you have diabetes, sugar, gastric, etc., then you must understand. You must go back to become bricks and paper. You don't have to hold it. When you hold it, it runs away. When it keeps it open, you will understand you have to go back to Swadita. When it's Swadita, where are these names? Just the power is not going to create beauty in you. Just when you release it up, you find only love and love can move. Oceans and mountains. I look upon the finest silken robes as tattered rags. Silken robes. Beautiful manicured and pedicured. Stitched to attack another person. But if that robe is just to make sure that it has got its quality and quality and beauty according to the season then it is there otherwise the silken robes create diseases because you are blocking fresh air fresh energy entering your body where is your smile in the silken robes that is gone where are the windows you are closing all the windows and you are sleeping allow the fresh air to enter into your house you are not embracing the sunlight and the wind and the rainwater I look upon the finest silken road, tattered right. I see myriad birds of the universe, small seeds of fruit, and the greatest lake in India has a drop of 
oil on my foot. I see myriad worlds of the universe, small seeds of fruit. You see the world, yes. And you go and spend money to see the world, look at the world and then try to plant a seed and you can see it is growing beautiful like another beautiful tree for the next generation. You plant a tree for the next generation. That is the beauty of the universe. I perceive the teachings of the world to be the illusion of magicians. Teachings. Who wants teaching? The teachings you wanted. You need somebody to teach you because you are a slave. You are not given the freedom for you to express. You are not given the freedom to, for you to explore into your land, into the sunlight, into the rainwater harvesting, into the beautiful wind. Yes, when you, when you don't explore, then you need teachings. Otherwise, gospel of truth, it just flows from your mouth. It strikes without thinking. The teachings as magicians, yes. It's magic and it is illusion. It is cheating. Teachings, when your teachings are all illusions, if you hold on to the teachings, if you hold on, I'm not telling teachings are wrong. When you have the teachings, after that, drop it and go back to your Samskriti. I discern the highest conception of emancipation, golden brocade in a dream, and view the holy path of the illuminated one as flowers appearing in one's eyes. Yes, yes. That's the time you start observing flowers. Yes. Everything what you see is God. And in that God you see the love and the truth and you. And that's the time you understand the power of your eyes which can create flowers. I see meditation as a pillar of a mountain, pillar of a mountain, a powerful, strong feeling in you that when you meditate, you empty your mind, you become empty. That's why doctors on the western countries, they found out when they made two groups sit, one with meditation, one without meditation, and the, both the people are doing medicines, but one with medicines and without um, meditation, their diseases increased. And the one with meditation, with medicine, they found out their problems have come down terribly down. Yes, the diseases started going off. Meditation, when you have the meditation, for every question there is an answer. You become healthy, wealthy, and wise. Nirvana is in my nightmare of daytime. I look upon the judgment of right and wrong as a serpentine dance of a dragon. Yes, where is right, where is wrong? You have right and wrong because you went to the teaching and you held out to the teaching. When you hold it, it runs away. Keep it open, it stays. When you come right and wrong, that's time you have no time to do your Sanskrit. Otherwise, you know the nostril. <laughs> You have to blow out the nostrils before you talk to anybody. You have come out of the house. You have to make sure that every part of the body has got a stretching exercise before you come out of the house. You have to do stomach pumping. <laughs> and when you sweat it out till the last drop, you eat the food, you wash the plate, keep it like that. Till the last drop of talent, you do it. Then you don't find right and wrong. The serpent and dice of the dragon will not be there. The rice that fall of the beliefs as but traces left by the four seasons. Beliefs, it goes up and down. <laughs> traces left by the four seasons. Think about it. If Buddha said that, it is such a beautiful thing to go through. It's a deep meditation. And in the deep meditation, you have the strength of a thousand men over you. The last sentence and first. Story from Zen Flesh Zen Pools. Thanking all of the people who have watched this process of 101 story in the last 101 days.